what is rest like? Because you said you've been going for so long where it's like, okay, cool. Now, what are your rest days like? I have such a hard time relaxing. (laughs) I feel like if I'm at home and I'm not doing anything, I should be doing something, you know? And I think that's partially our training is because like when we were in school, it was go, go, go for like 12 hour days, six days a week. And so if I have time off, I feel like I should be hustling. I should be like sending my, you know, shit to somebody. I should be auditioning for something. But so I have a hard time just like allowing myself to relax Mm -hmm. until I take an edible. (laughs) (laughs) But I don't usually get get high during the day because then just the whole day gets away from me and I feel so tired and stuff. So like in the evening time, I can relax. Those functioning weeks, I hate them because it's like, yeah, I want to be high too, but. I got work and shit to do first. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I can still work and stuff when I'm high, but it's after I come down from it, then I'm exhausted. And then I'm like, is it 11 p.m.? And it's like four o'clock and I'm like, what? (laughs) Fair. What about you, Jesse? What's rest like for you? Oh, uh, I definitely have learned to build the rest and Mm. how I like to rest now. I have a better idea of work-life balance, but up until I was 28, and Jerry's twenty turning twenty eight, so you have time. Hey. To, yeah, Jesse's literally the model out. for my life. I just follow what she does, but two years later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll get there. Yeah, but yeah, by age twenty eight, I was so burnt out, and that's when we graduated from our theater school. And I literally, I took six weeks off, and I traveled with my mom, and I just tried to like relax as much as I could. But it was very hard to, uh, to to really let go. And mm. I had to learn to do that. So it's like a, it's a habit. So you have to learn how to decompress uh, every day as opposed to doing it like, okay, I am on vacation now. Or like, it's Saturday. Now I can relax. It's more mm. like, what can you do every day? So definitely I have a meditation practice that I do now. And I like to get some movement in and it doesn't have to be exercise. Like sometimes just stretching for 15 to 20 minutes is huge you know and like we use our bodies a lot Mm -hmm. for our job and so sometimes it's like you know you didn't do anything but you did not you had one audition and that already like messed up you know a part of your back or your neck or something and it's Mm -hmm. like giving myself that like getting into my body and then meditation um and then i am a huge tv watcher so i watch a lot of tv films as well but mostly tv is my thing and now that we have a hundred million streaming services and a hundred seasons of drag race <laughs> and a lot of drag race i can just watch tv to my heart's content so funny. yeah that's mostly what i do and obviously whenever i can i try, try to be a, um, a little bit of social like i'm very introverted but i now i make a bigger effort to try to see my friends and family and that's just what i was them, thinking so. i'm like such a i live in this such a gray area between extrovert and introvert mm. everybody that meets me they think that i am an extrovert because i'm a big personality like i'm bubbly i laugh a lot but like i love being alone mm. <laughs> and yeah. i i hate big crowds i like i love getting home and just being able to like sit to myself and just be to myself and if i can but i i have a hard time saying no mm. <laughs> so like i mm. often will do things when I just want to be at home doing nothing. But I also on the other end of that, like if I'm sitting at home doing nothing for too long, then I start to get like, okay, now I'm getting stir crazy. So I like swing back and forth on that pendulum so much. 